Michael J. Hey with FreshExpress.com. I'm here with Mr. Jeffrey Tate at the CBC Hip Hop Brunch. So Tate, can you tell a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Jeff Tate. I graduated in 2004 from Morehouse College uh, with my degree in marketing. Um, I currently work as an advanced associate right now for the White House. So I do event planning for the White House. And then I also throw parties here in D.C. I'm going to do some independent event consulting, marketing, and things of that nature. That's me, Jeff Tate. <laughs> So Jeff, how'd you hear about the CBC Hip Hop Brunch? Um, heard about it through a great friend, um, uh, DJ Blaze and Michael Curry. They're all great friends and promoters um, that we work with here in the city. Um, so, you know, it's great. I definitely wanted to come on support, do something different. Um, we've actually done a few events here at Tobacco ourselves, so it's good to come back and have a good time. You know, enjoy time with the friends and family. And the brunch is good too, so that helps. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely good. I have the crab and shrimp omelet with a side yeah. of lamb sauce. It's Shrimp's quite crying. safely, if I must say so myself. Definitely. <laughs> so what did, um, have you gone to any other CBC events this week? Um, I just got back in town yesterday and I was I did was able to go to the uh, party above. Um, we went to a few other parties. I haven't actually haven't been able to visit too many of the official CBC events, which I'm kind of disappointed about, but um, definitely the, the, these next few hours I'm going to try to you know work my way around as much as possible, meet as many people as I can here at CBC. So what role, Jeff, do you feel hip-hop plays in politics? I think right now, if, 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 if more of a, a better time than ever, um, hip-hop is playing an integral role in politics, specifically with regards to how a lot of youth in, in the culture today really relate to a lot of rappers and um, a lot of young entertainers now that are, that are really you know, pivotal to the game of hip-hop. Um, they look to them for advice on things to buy, what to do, where to go, you know, trends that they should follow, and I think if, like I said, now's the best time ever where hip hop's playing such a cool role in making sure that as, as, as young people we're remaining as aware about things that are going on outside of our little culture um, and in the world. So, I think it's very good. Very good. Okay. As someone who worked on the Obama campaign, how do you feel social media and social networking played a role in Obama being elected the first black president? I think it was actually the thing that gave him the upper edge for actually all of the candidates that were running. You know, he was the, one of the first candidates that had his, his uh, fully functional website and um, and just really was engaging uh, the population in a, in a different way. And I think that's really what helped him set himself apart from a lot of the other candidates at the time. So for him, it really helped. I mean, it, it, it helped jumpstart everything and really kind of bring in that, that younger demographic across the board. So. How do you feel the young people's voice is being heard in this administration and in politics now? I mean, I think the best thing that, that, uh, that the president has done is tried to still stay in close contact with and engaging um, through a lot of these organizations that are still, still, still in existence. Um, and engaging them and, and staying connected to them uh, and having a different base in, in, and also and also with regards to like embracing them with regards to their opinion. Now, all of these websites and anywhere you go online, you can leave your opinion, you can voice your concern. Um, and there are plenty of other like you know local affiliate offices that he still has up and running. So I think what he's done is trying to remain uh, to remain that presence that he has has had there, um, and making sure that folks know that at any point you can come, you know, voice your opinion and say what you have to say about you know whatever he has going on. Well, thank you for your time, uh, Jeffrey Jeff Tate. <laughs> have you ever been to the FreshExpress.com before? I have. Okay. <laughs> so now, hopefully, once this web this uh, video is uploaded, you can visit more frequently. You'll pass the word. We will. Thank you, sir. No